Hey everybody, it's Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. I'm here at Nova Music to show you the ARP Odyssey. Let's take a look at the top panel of the Odyssey. On the left are your portamento and proportional pitch control pads, and transpose. Then you'll see oscillator 1 with its FM and pulse width parameters, followed by oscillator 2 with the same parameters as number 1 with the addition of a sync switch. Then, the sample and hold mixer and output lag control with the low frequency oscillator up top. Next is the mixer section with the VCF and high pass filter up top. Here you can adjust the volumes of the oscillators, the noise generator, ring mod, and other parameters. Over on the right are your two envelope generators, AR and ADSR, along with auto repeat functions. On the back panel of the Odyssey, you'll see that we've gone mostly with the Mark III configuration, which gives you the most options for CV and gate in and out, along with the XLR and quarter inch outputs. We've also added a dedicated headphone output with its own volume control, and that wasn't on any of the original Odysseys, and it's incredibly helpful. Next, you'll see the uh, things that we've put on there for the modern age, MIDI and USB. USB will allow you to do MIDI in and out from the keybed, and uh, the MIDI in will allow you to control the Odyssey from another controller. You can see that the cosmetics mostly resemble the Mark III, but if you remember the original Mark III, the keybed extended beyond the case, making the keys slightly vulnerable. So what we did is we took the older version of the case, extended it beyond the length of the keys, so they are protected from damage. Speaking of protecting it from damage, the Odyssey comes with this semi-hard shell case. Check out that cool little ARP logo on the bottom. On the left side of the Odyssey, you'll see these three rubber pads. These pressure pads can add pitch bend or modulation. The portamento control is right above that. And there's a mode switch that lets you explore both behaviors of portamento that existed throughout the life cycle of the Odyssey. Over here, you'll see the first oscillator with its options for frequency modulation and pulse width control. If it's set to square wave, you can have the LFO or the envelope control the pulse width modulation. Next up is oscillator number two with its coarse and fine tuning just like oscillator number one and here you'll also see the sync switch. So let's turn on the sync. By moving the coarse and fine tuning sliders, you can adjust the tone. With the sync off, it's a little bit easier to test the ARP Odyssey's duophonic nature. With sync on, you can still get two notes at once, especially if they're far apart. It's especially helpful if you tune more than an octave away. On the bottom you have the same frequency modulation controls that you have for oscillator 1 along with the pulse width modulation and right next to that you'll see the LFO up top, the sample and hold mixer, and the output lag control for the sample and hold. These can be modulated by the VCOs or the noise generator as well. To the right of that, you have the audio mixer. These are your two main volumes for the oscillators. And this is also where you can select sawtooth wave or square wave. To the left of that is the noise generator and ring modulator. Up top, you have the filter, and this is where we've got something special, the switch that allows you to select the three different revisions. Here's the first revision filter, the second revision, and the third. You can hear the increased resonance in the third one. Of course, if we crank the resonance up on any of the filters, you'll hear that they can be very aggressive. Number three is the easiest to self-oscillate. Down below you also have controls for the voltage controlled filter, so you can modulate it via the sample and hold, LFO, envelopes, or by keyboard behavior. 
Right next to the voltage controlled filter, there's also a high pass filter. And here you'll notice the drive switch. Now I've had this turned on, and what it does is it adds a bit of warmth and distortion to the sound. So here it is without the drive turned on. And here it is with the drive on. To the right of the drive switch is the VCA gain slider. And what this does is it creates a drone based off the last note that you've played. Next to that is the AR envelope generator, and below that is the full ADSR. These two envelopes are great for modulating different parameters throughout the Odyssey, like the VCA, VCF, and FM parameters. When recreating something as historic as the Odyssey, we didn't want to fly blind. So we reached out to the original creator of the Odyssey, David Friend, co-founder of ARP Instruments. He oversaw the project and gave his stamp of approval and said it was authentic even down to the feel of the paint on the top panel. Once again, I'm Rich Formadoni from Korg USA here at Nova Music with the ARP Odyssey. For some great deals, please check out novamusic.com. Thanks for watching.